Hey folks, Father Sampati from Siji Virus. Today we're going to see how to texture paint normal textures in a non destructive way in Blender. So, this is the part 2 of our non destructive texturing workflow in Blender. So, if you have not seen the part 1, then I would suggest to see that first, then come here. The link will be in the description. So, many people have asked about this technique, so I think it is important. So, let's get started. So, this will be our normal texture here. Uh, it's a PNG file and it has some alpha you can see it here So we will treat uh, this normal map as just like our stencil we did earlier So alpha texture why we are using alpha because we want to use it in a non-destructive way So we can utilize this alpha as well So yeah, so this is one and now let's get started with the texturing This is where we left off before baking the stage so let's separate this guy here okay so you can see that uh, we have everything uh, we did earlier with masking set up here and uh, you can see that we in normal map we have utilized a bump map to create these bumps okay so now we are going to texture paint some normal map as well so first thing first is basically let's create a image texture and let's go for a new we're going for a normal bolt and we're going to use a fairly high resolution color we're going to turn off alpha here alpha zero check alpha and okay just like before uh, you know we did this stencil the main um, difference is the color space should be non-color okay so now we can paint over this texture so now let's see some things we're going to create a mix rgb here and in this mix rgb we have two color slot this one is the top color and this one will be the bottom color all right so if you have a normal map bit from a high poly to a low poly if you have a normal map then you need to plug it in color one slot okay this color one slot this one although it is seeing uh, it is in blender uh, it, it should be flipped okay so the color one is the bottom layer and color two is the top layer okay just like before color two is the top layer so we're going to paint over paint over this color one that means this normal bolt will be color two and this color one will be your high poly to low poly normal or if you don't have any normal map then what you should do is basically create a base normal the base normal value is r.5 g.5 b1 this will be your base normal so if we go here now let's check it you can see we can use a factor okay and this factor will be driven by your normal bolt that is this guy okay so now we don't have any uh, you know normal map here so let's paint some normal map so let's select this guy normal map normal bolts and then go for a uh, texture paint let's go in so this is the normal bolt and let's get a new texture new texture now let's go to the texture and let's open our bolt here we go okay image aspect select image aspect and here it is so now if I draw some uh, suppose this okay now you can see the normal will be drawn over what over our base normal so that means if you have a normal map which is a high poly normal map bit for low poly then plug it in the color one slot okay if you don't have any high poly to low poly normal then you should use r.5 g.5 b1 this is the flat normal okay this is the flat normal value so that's how you can drive your setup you can see that if we go factor you can see this guy here okay so alpha is driving the overlay here all right so this is what we need to do so now uh, there are two scenarios that we don't have any bump map and we have 
a bump map so in this case we have a bump map so what we should do all right so let's create a normal map normal normal map there we go so uh what we do is basically we just go for this guy and we just go for this guy here okay so now if we want to see it you can see it here all right there we go but we have some bump map also so what we can do is basically plug it here and let's plug this normal map to here bump map that means we are now integrating everything with it so this will be our high poly to low poly normal okay in that case in this case we don't have any high poly to low poly normal so that's why we are using the flat normal here we are using these stencil normal that we are drawing here okay in color two slot and driving it with alpha then we are plugging the normal map and this is our bump map okay so this is the whole chain this is the whole system okay there we go so i think uh it is clear now so now let's uh let's uh go to bend and i'm going to uh, erase the alpha here because i want to make something more so let's erase the alpha okay now let's go to texture there we go and let's paint some go to mix let's paint some uh the shift to create a uh, value here okay there we go suppose here there we go let's paint something somewhere here maybe somewhere here and maybe somewhere here all right done so now you can see that uh, we have some anti-aliasing and stuff like that so what we can do is basically let's go to brush and uh, go to image paint tool go to soften okay and let's close this down let's press f to increase the radius a little bit and let's just soften it up a little bit here we go beautiful press f uh let's go to strength a little bit lower yeah, beautiful and just click it to create a very nice blend so let's go to object mode so here you can see what we have done all right so now let's uh, go for a work and let's go for some uh, you know non-destructive workflow so i want to give it some other uh, texture and values so let's see so now my target is uh, making these uh, screws or bolts silver so how can we do it okay first thing first for silver we need to go to the base color let's give it a uh, space yeah, okay so uh just like before we are going to create a mix note here shift d and a mix note now what we want to drive we want to mask our screws right these bolts so how can we mask it well we have that's why we have alpha okay so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to check it here and here we go alpha <coughs> so that's how we can create our alpha so we need a white uh something like this okay so now let's go to metallic okay so this this was the metallic value so just like before shift d and create a metallic value here so i want to drive this alpha as well so i'm just going to create a router and i'm going to create a factor and here we go now we have metallic value with metallic white so let's see yeah it should be one there we go and this is something like this so suppose i want to create something like this we can create those things as well so there we go so that's how we're using it and if you don't want to use metallic you can also give it black you can give it some color up to you okay so yeah so that's how we're using it and uh, other things are pretty much fine so that's it and uh, let's see a uh, simple baking here as well so let's see by the way forgot about saving these normal bolts after test painting 
so let's go to normal vault here mm, you need to save it here and let's go to image and save all image here we go all right so now it is saved and uh, now uh, let's go to principles baker add-on here and we're just going to uh, alt H there we go and select everything and let's select this guy there we go and uh, let's turn off visible all and we're just going to use color metallic roughness normal and emission and other things are pretty much fine transmission there you go okay and yeah let's go for 4096 <coughs> and i'm going to save it here as well and uh, let's turn it to cycle <coughs> cpu render and viewport one and let's go for here and sample is one margin system px and other things are fine so let's back it and let's see and here it is all right so we have the best color it's a gb and this is the metallic non-color roughness non-color emission non-color and uh, this is the normal non-color okay all right so yeah that's how we can work with it so i hope it was helpful so thanks for watching and i'm father's from from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye